Hello everyone, it's Anna Michael. In this video, I'm going to share 20 of my unpopular opinions regarding the Super Smash Bros. games. Keep in mind that these are not all unpopular, meant to be taken seriously, or to change your ideas about the games. Enjoy! Number 1 Kirby is one of my favorite characters in Super Smash Bros. Melee. I'll admit he wasn't as strong as in the original, but he's still fun to play as, and some of his copy abilities are powerful. Number 2 I think that Duck Hunt is a clever replacement for the Ice Climbers in Super Smash Bros. 4. They both come from retro NES games, have a multiple character unit, and use creative specials while in the fray. That being said, it would be nice if Popo could come back as his own Ice Climber character, with Nana acting as an alternate costume. Number 3 Jigglypuff is one of my favorite playable characters in all of Smash Bros. Her cutesy appearance and silly specials are what makes Smash so fun and cartoony in the first place. Plus, perfect timing that rest attack is so satisfying. Number 4 I didn't think that Sonic was too weak in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Like most people, I was stoked to see the Blue Blur finally join the Smash Bros. roster. But I thought his attack power was just fine in that game. I don't expect the world's fastest hedgehog to be that strong anyway, and his final smash was incredibly powerful. I do like that he was made stronger in Smash 4, however. Number 5 I don't see how Meta Knight was overpowered in Brawl. I'll give him credit for his impressive recovery but I thought that he was rather weak overall. Even his final smash wasn't that powerful. Number 6 I'll take Roy Koopa over Roy from Fire Emblem. I like the idea of playing as a character whose game wasn't out by the time he appeared in Melee, but I personally like the Koopa League more. Number 7 Ganondorf is my favorite playable character from the Zelda universe. While he is essentially a slower, stronger Captain Falcon, I dig the darkness element used in most of his moves. Plus, nailing a reverse aerial warlock punch is almost as satisfying as Jigglypuff's rest attack. Number 8 Princess Zelda is a better character for me than Sheik once I got used to her. Granted, Sheik's moves are fast, easy to land, and do a reasonable amount of knockback. But at the end of the day, Zelda's moves are more powerful, and her Phantom Slash is a good shield against projectiles. Number 9 Dark Pit is not a wasted character slot. Frankly, I wasn't thrilled about getting Dark Pit as a full character rather than an alt costume at first, but he plays really good. The Electroshock arm gives a nice amount of knockback, and his final smash is pretty cool. And while we're talking about clones... Number 10 I really don't have a problem with clone characters in Smash Bros. They add a nice bit of variety to the roster and show off some interesting differences from their counterparts. For example, Lucina has an easier playstyle than Marv, while Pichu is a faster, more agile Pikachu. Number 11 Changing a character's color is my favorite thing to do in the Smash Bros. games. Just the idea of changing a character's costume color is something I really enjoy doing, and Smash has some creative ideas. I also loved how Smash 4 featured alt-character costumes, 
such as female Robin and Villager, Alf, and the seven old recuperates. Number 12. Fountain of Dreams is my favorite Smash Brothers stage. Coming from the Kirby series, this area features some of the prettiest visuals I've seen on the GameCube. Just imagine how pretty the stage would look in HD if it came back in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Number 13. I am a mostly casual Smash Bros. player. While I respect tournament players and have my maids in each game, as pictured above, I generally just play Smash for the fun of it. This includes choosing any character, any stage, items on, against level 3 CPUs. Occasionally I test my skills by fighting a level 9 CPU with no items on final destination or participate in 4 glory matches in Smash 4 Wii U. But the vast majority of times I play just for the entertainment factor. Number 14. I love using items while playing Smash Brothers. The items featured in these games come from so many different Nintendo games, and they really add to the fun factor of the gameplay, even if they are random in nature. Number 15. I think that the Subspace Emissary would make a great standalone game. Personally, I did not enjoy the Subspace Emissary mode for Brawl. I thought it was too dark and time consuming. However, it does feature an excellent interaction with the Nintendo characters, and if they add in a few extra stages and multiplayer modes, I can see it as a nice little game for the eShop. Number 16. I like that Smash 4 doesn't have an actual story mode. The Super Smash Bros. series is a cartoony fighting video game, so I don't really expect any real plot or storyline to them. That removes the process of having to complete one extra mode, thus making the core Smash mode more fun. Number 17. I actually like Smash Tour and Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. When I first heard of a board game in Smash Wii U, I was thinking more along the lines of a Mario Party-like mode. Smash Tour is not exactly that, but it is a cute little game featuring power-ups and the ability to brawl with various characters in crazy matches. It was confusing when I first played it, but I got the hang of the mode after a few times, and I love the final battle. But I prefer the Sma 3DS version of Smash Run more. Number 18. While I find the Wii U version of Smash 4 to be definitive, I'm not really tired of the 3DS version yet. With a super fun Smash Run mode, decent classic mode, exclusive handheld game trophies, and the idea of having Smash Brothers on a handheld game device, the 3DS game is still great. In fact, I was only going to have Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS by itself were it not for the Wii U's 50 fast extravaganza. Number 19. The stage bosses in Smash 4 are not that bad. True, they may be big and or intrusive during a match. But they can be attacked fairly easily, and even join up a few like an assist trophy. For the record, I'm fine with Ridley being a boss opponent, but I don't think he's too big to be playable. Number 20. In spite of certain opinions of mine, Smash Bros. is one of my favorite game series. These games boast an all-star cast of Nintendo characters, and just bring all kinds of fans together. We even got some great third party guests as fighters. Thanks to Mr. Masahiro Sakurai, I can enjoy playing with various Nintendo characters, looking at lovely visuals, reading interesting trivia, and just have fun playing Smash Brothers. And that concludes my unpopular Smash Bros. opinions.
Now that's what I'm talking about.